In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. I'm offering Mass this evening for the repose of the soul of Mary McCarthy. My brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated on the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. If the world refused to acknowledge him, 
Therefore, it does not matter in us. My dear people, we are already the children of God. But what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd is one who lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since he is not the shepherd and the sheep do not belong to him, abandons the sheep and runs away as soon as he sees a wolf coming, and then the wolf attacks and scatters the sheep. This is because he is only a hired man and has no concern for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I lay down my life on my sheep. And there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, and these I have to leave as well. They too will listen to my voice, and there will be only one flock and one shepherd. The Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, I lay it down of my own free will. Thus it is in my power to lay it down, so it is in my power to take it up again. And this is the command I have been given by my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. We are now at the midpoint of the Easter season, the fourth Sunday of Easter, which is known as Good Shepherd Sunday because. The Gospel is Jesus saying, I am the Good Shepherd. And on Good Shepherd Sunday, the Church asks us to pray for vocations. So here is my annual vocations homily. The word vocation comes from the Latin word vocare, meaning to call. The Lord calls each and every one of us, every single human being on the face of the earth, every human being who has existed before us and every human being who will exist after us is called by God. And we are all given two vocations. The first vocation is the call to holiness, the call to lead a Christian life. And we are given this call at the moment of our baptism. When Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit appeared in the form of a dove, and the voice of the Father was heard from heaven saying, This is my Son, the Beloved, listen to him. So whenever a person is baptized, the Father says exactly the same thing. This is my child, the beloved. And then when we have received all the sacraments of initiation, that is baptism, confirmation, and holy communion, then we begin to discover our second book. The second vocation is the reason that God created us, the reason that we exist, the reason that we are on this planet. 
there are four possible vocations. Marriage, single life, religious life, and priesthood. If we are called to marriage, it is because God has created two souls that are destined to meet and to be bound together during their time in this life. Those two souls are bound together in the sacrament of marriage. And they are then called to procreate, to help the Lord, to create a new life. A new life that can be called to holiness, a new life that can be given a purpose in this world. In the vocation to the single life, the person is called not to get married and not to enter religious life or priesthood either, but to remain single in the world, to be a part of the world, but to dedicate their life to Jesus Christ, to dedicate their life to prayer. The call to religious life is a call to be a monk or a nun. Again, it's a call to dedicate your life to Christ, a call to dedicate your life to prayer, but to be a part of a community, to live with other people who have the same call. Finally, the call to priesthood is a call to lead a Christian community, a call to confer the sacraments on those who request it, a call to help those who are discerning their own vocation in life, a call to help people to understand their own calling, to help people understand their own purpose in life. And so on this Sunday that Jesus calls himself the Good Shepherd, he leads us along the path that the Father has set out for each and every one of us. It is Jesus who helps us to follow that path no matter how difficult it may be. It is Jesus who feeds us. It is Jesus who binds our wounds. It is Jesus who picks us up, dusts us up and sends us on our way whenever we fall or stray from the path. So we listen for his voice. We follow him wherever he may go. Because our purpose in this life is to follow the path that God has set out for us. Our purpose in this life is to do whatever the Lord has planned for us since before we were even conceived. And so we pray to the Good Shepherd. If we already know our vocation, we thank him for giving us that vocation and ask him to give us the strength we need to continue along that path. If we don't yet know our vocation, we pray to the Lord, asking him to show us more clearly the path he has set out for us. But we pray to him also generally for vocations. 
We pray for others that they may come to know their own calling. They may come to see more clearly the path the Lord has set out for them. Call upon the Good Shepherd to lead us along his Father's path to keep us safe. So now let us stand and profess our faith together. I believe in one God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of our Lord, O Lord, you yet more gloriously 
when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for when the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. So now let's stand. And as the children of God, let us call upon our Father in the words that Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Those who are joining us from home, we make an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love your bubble things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to set in the eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
Please be seated for the notices. First of all, uh, an apology and a thank you. Uh, after I had to cancel masses at the last minute a couple of weeks ago, uh, following a COVID scare, uh, it turned out just to be priest flu, which we know is the worst of all the flus. Um, but I'm absolutely fine now. Uh, but thank you all for your patience, for your kindness at that time. Uh, gift aiders, uh, as we have been announcing since before Easter, uh, we are not uh, um, providing gift aid envelopes uh, this financial year, uh, but that doesn't stop you from being able to gift aid. Uh, simply place your donation in an ordinary envelope and write your gift aid, gift aid number on that envelope and place it in the wooden collection box as you come into church. Mass intentions, uh, you can still ask for Mass to be offered for any intentions you may have. Uh, we're just not able to uh, give you envelopes at this time. So again, uh, just uh, on an ordinary envelope, write uh, what you would like Mass offered for. Um, uh, which Mass you would like it offered at and at an approximate date. And if you put your name and phone number, Sarah can contact you uh, if that date you have asked for is not available. But place those envelopes in the wooden collection box. Following my homily this evening, uh, in next week's newsletter, uh, and from then on, there will be a permanent notice in there for anyone who uh, feels they have a vocation to the priesthood or religious life, uh, pointing you in the direction of those that you need to be in contact with. And do we have any First Holy Communion families with us this evening? Excellent. Can you be away you making your First Holy Communion? Marvellous. Excellent. If you stay in your places then, and I will come and have a chat with you in a few minutes time. Sajan is waving the card machine at me. If anybody would like to make a donation by card as you leave the church, please see Sajan. I will now have a lovely evening and a fabulous week, and I will see you again very soon. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.